欢迎来到瑞士平，我是 Jennifer。本期节目呢，我们邀请到麦克伯格律师，他在进行竞选洛杉矶郡最高法院的法官，这个席位是一百三十七席。现在我们邀请他跟大家解释一下法官这个位置在竞选当中具有什么样的作用。另外呢，介绍一下他个人的一些竞选理念。My name is Michael Berg. I'm a criminal defense attorney and victims' rights attorney. Uh, I'm running for、uh, for Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge, seat 137.、Mm -hmm. uh, I represent people who have been arrested for misdemeanors and felonies. I am a big believer in mental health help because it is such a problem in Los Angeles at the moment.、Mm -hmm. uh, I'm also、uh, holding people accountable, including law enforcement accountable.、Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. And、um, I know that you have a very、um, Impressing a story of yourself、uh, from working family and local、uh, Los Angeles guy. So, could you tell us、uh, some story of yourself? So,、uh, I grew up in Los Angeles in the Valley,、mm -hmm. and my father owned a butcher shop. And from the, when I turned 15 years old, he's like, "This is the family business, and this is what you're going to do." And I actually worked as a full-time butcher before I was a lawyer, and I worked、uh, as a butcher.、Uh, I mean, almost full time. Uh, but when I was under eighteen,、uh, on the weekends and after school,、uh, mm -hmm. cutting meat and take, running his shop, and and then eventually running the shop when he wasn't there,、mm -hmm. uh, so he could take off, <laughs> and then I had to work, and、yeah. I worked all the way from fifteen until I went to law school. It's about twenty four.、Mm -hmm. I, I am married with two kids, two two daughters. You have a beautiful family, huh? <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, there's there's a a lot of problems that need helping, at least in the criminal arena. Uh, there's surprisingly there's a, a law that allows for mental health diversion. So basically, we get people help,、mm -hmm. and if they if they complete and you know see the doctor and take the medication that they need to do and they get help and don't reoffend,、uh, the case gets dismissed. And I view it as a win win situation because if 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 we could help one mentally、uh, handicapped person、mm -hmm. become better, then it helps us all. Yeah. And there's no downside to it,、uh, because if they if they don't want to participate in it or they're not going to participate in it, they get kicked out of the program. Then they're in the exact same position they were always in. So, and, and a lot of times, my clients they're very motivated when they're sitting in my office to try to get help. So, what do you think is the main reason to cause so? You you think the mental、uh, problem, the mental problem, is getting worse now, or is just?、Uh... I, I it's always been there, but it's definitely gotten worse. I'd、okay. say more of my clients have mental health issues than previously. So what what caused this kind of problem? You think? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, we,、uh, either, you know, California has an influx of people,、mm -hmm. so more people moving here.、Uh, so obviously that would increase the numbers.、Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I don't know if it's related to to COVID or you know <laughs> something.、Uh, it, it seems since COVID has gotten worse. So, what do you think you can do for it? Well, I there are judges right now who are denying the mental health motions. Okay, they say no, no, go to prison,、uh -huh. and so we can play what happens if you send one of these people to prison. They're not going to get any help in prison. They get no help. They can still get all the drugs they want in prison. You can still everything can be bought in prison, and、okay. so then they do a little time, and then they're released, thrown out on the street, and they come back as violent homeless people. Mm -hmm. And that does not help us out because our streets are already filled. So,、uh, as you know, the Asian community,、um, we are very care about the the you know the criminals.、Um, so, do you think if you elected to be a, to be a judge, you can you know、uh, help with that to stop or to reduce the street crimes? Or definitely. So, you know, I'm a criminal defense attorney. You know, like recently, I had a case. It was one of my cases where my client. Uh, and I can't tell you how I would have ruled on this as a judge, but I'll just just say I was shocked that I I had a case where my client did a robbery with a gun,、mm -hmm. then led LAPD on a high speed pursuit, and it only ended when my client T boned another car. So this is a very dangerous situation. Someone could have died with the gun. The police chased. The officers come injured, and the person,、uh, the random person, my client hit. And I, you know, I was able to get my client no jail. You know, that's unheard of. This would be ten plus years in prison normally.、Mm -hmm. um, so I can't tell you as a judge how I would, how, how I would have, what I would have done on it. But judges don't have to agree、uh. to the deals that are made by the prosecutor. So if if you think a a, a deal is too lenient, you、mm -hmm. could say no. 
Mm-hmm. And I, I've mm-hmm. had that happen to me in, in, in my cases before. It didn't happen in that case, <laughs> but, but judges do have the power uh, because not all crime is because of mental health or substance abuse. Sometimes mm-hmm. people commit crimes because they are just, you know, try, they see an easy opportunity. Okay. And those people should be punished. Can you tell yeah. us uh, what your value of life? My value of life, you know, my family is the most important thing to me. Yeah. Uh, and I and I raised them in Los Angeles, and I have no plans on moving, whether I win this election or not. Mm-hmm. And I I want a good society for my kids, mm-hmm. and I want to make it better, and I want them safe. You know, the Asian community, especially the new immigrants, when we voting. We focus so much on the who gonna be the mayor or gonna be the um, assembly member. You know, from your story, I think the judge, this job, this position is really important actually to the community. The, in Los Angeles, the only vote for a judge. What happens is most ju- judges are actually appointed by the governor. Oh. The governor appoints all the judges for the entire state. Okay. A lot of judges. That process takes anywhere from a year to two years. Mm-hmm. So at, at election time, if there's open seats where he hasn't appointed anyone, that goes up for election. This oh. election cycle, there's nine open seats. Now, at any one point, there's a lot of judges running for re-election. There's probably about 150. Uh, but if no one runs against them, they're not on the ballot. So you mm-hmm. don't see. So you only see about, I think there's going to be 11 judicial seats running. There's nine of us who are running open seats, and then there are two people running against sitting judges. You know, I, I've, I've been a criminal defense attorney for about 18, almost 19 years. Mm-hmm. I've been in front of courts all the way from at the border of Mexico and Imperial County, all the way up to Santa Barbara County, oh. including Riverside, San Bernardino, Orange, Kern County. Mm-hmm. I've literally been in front of hundreds, if not thousands of judges over my years. I've seen good judges and bad judges. I, I know how to run a courtroom. Uh, my opponents are not trial attorneys. Mm-hmm. I'm the only one who's ever picked a jury in my race. And having all my all this experience in front of all these judges, it gives you a, a good appreciation of, of what it is like to be a judge and mm-hmm. how you run your own courtroom. And I think that's I think that's very important.